Hey guys and girls, Dragon here. This is Scholarman's new and old split screen. To the left we have the old Scholarman, and to the right we have the new one. And as you can see, the freaky girl on the wall as you run, or as well as the dude, they follow you, which is pretty awesome what they've added. So, in the left side of the screen, which is the old one, once again, uh, it's pretty much the same mobs. Um, all around the room, different cultists, necromancers, that sort of stuff, casters, as well as ghosts. And then you got that steward, which you have to kill for a quest. On the right, you got the two new mob skeleton dudes. Um, they pretty much got a melee attack and all that. I'm just letting the pet kill them while I have a look around. So, on the left, I'm just showing uh, the ability she's got. She's just uh, that succubus, as you expect, nothing special. Um, she kept missing the seduction and all that, so that was pretty good. But on the right, we've got the new boss, which is the uh, Chill Heart. And he has an interesting ability, which you'll see shortly, but I'm just uh, walking around the room showing you the. It's not so much a different layout. You can tell that the design is more purple, you could say. But on the right, I'm just. I'm doing the quest because there was a bug. Um, I believe there still is a bug with live at the moment where you can't summon the last boss. I don't know why. I don't know if they're going to fix it. I don't even know if they know about it to be honest. So unfortunate. But on the right, I'm just rounding up all the mobs so I can get uh, room for the boss's attacks. So yeah, once again, I, I leave them up a little bit to show what they're casting, and he's just casting some sort of. Uh, Challenge spell there, which I didn't catch, unfortunately. But on the left, you can see I got the combat log, which I should have done on the right. But anyway, we've got the new boss's abilities, and on the left, we got the old gargoyle. But yeah, so that ice beam, I wanted to see if it, how much damage it did to show you guys, and this is how much damage it does if it hits. There you go. It one shots you at level 85. So don't get hit by it. That's all I can say. I was surprised when that happened. And then it keeps going, even after you die, so... Maybe that's something i got to fix. On the left-hand side, anyway, we've got, um... I forget his name, but he's the Gargoyle dude. And I'm just looking at his abilities once again, to see what he's doing. He's attacking my pet because I forgot to put my pet on passive. So, it's all good. There you go, he's got the knockback ability. Um... Going back to the first one, I had to wait for the wave to disappear, and we're going to engage him again. Now, that was some weird bug there, uh, and it didn't reset, like, the ice beams don't come back. So, I'm just assigning what, uh, just seeing what abilities he's got, uh, got. He's got Frostbolt and, um, whatever that was. I think he's also got a Nova. You can see that, yeah, I now put on the combat log because I want to see how much it hit me for and it was just overkill. Uh, on the left, he's got a disarm and uh, pretty much standard attacks with a knockback. It's quite annoying. Um, and there's the touch of the grave or whatever, which you guys saw there. I actually missed the full tip. Um, but yeah, so I only have one sound going because two sounds would be too confusing. Uh, unfortunately I chose to put the old sound on, which I should have put the new ones on in case they talk. But yeah, you guys can wait for live. He's got that weird thing that he puts on the ground, Ice Wrath. It deals frost damage to all nearby enemies. Then he goes into this phase where you're meant to click the, uh, the crystal uh, and destroy it, but I decided to see what happens if you let it go. On the old one, just looking around, you got the Adepts and all that, and the old mobs running around, pretty annoying at the right level. But yeah, on the right, I'm just looking at all these different book spells and what they do. Like, you got the fire, you got the frost that puts stuff on the ground, and then you got, yeah, the Shadow Bolt ones that obviously shoot Shadow Bolts. But yeah, I was, I was trying to leave it long enough uh, to see how bad it got. Um, now, they're missing. I don't know if... I've got a feeling it's because I'm high level, and that's why I keep saying miss, miss. Uh, but at low level, it probably would be highly annoying, so... I'm actually progressing to the old one a lot faster. Uh, I did try to avoid a lot of mobs uh, just to show you guys the bosses because you don't want to see the trash. Uh, but yeah, uh, this is the, I think, third boss, which is the undead chick. She's got pretty much the same abilities which you guys will see in a little bit anyway. 
Um, but yeah, I decided to start attacking the crystal thing now because it's not doing anything different. You can see the number of books and that's about it on there. So there might be some quests as well once all this happens. But remember, it's getting uh, revamped to uh, level 90. So it will be interesting at, at max level. And I'm just clearing out the mobs on the old one just so I've got room. The problem is I'm still in combat, so that means they're reincarnating. Anyway, there she is, Jandis, uh, Bubbo, whatever her name is. But you can see her abilities there when clearing trash on the right hand side. Uh, so far she's just doing normal melee. She does do that split thing. Uh, it's a lot different. Well, not a lot different, but it's different. But yeah, she's just basically a warlock. Um, just doing warlock spells and all that. Uh, besides the... There, there she goes, she's splitting to heaps. Now, in the old one, they don't attack, they just walk around. And the problem is... Oh, okay, they do attack. My apologies for that. Um, but it, yeah, you have to kill each one. So, it's really annoying because in the new one, um, as you can see, the new mobs there, which are these uh, conjuring mages that just constantly conjure skeletons. Um, really need an AOE, <laughs> so that's why I'm putting the trap down to try and trigger um, all that, and I accidentally killed her, so I didn't get to see any other abilities if she had any, and there's the old loot if you're interested. But yeah, the new mobs look highly annoying left alone, so the tank's going to have to get in there and interrupt, or you guys are going to have to interrupt just the constant way. I mean, they're not elites or anything, but anyway, that's where she is now. She's no longer in that little tunnel thing. We're going to have a look at her. It's the same one. She's obviously been... Uh, got a new model and all that. Uh, we'll see her abilities in a little bit. On the left, I think I'm making my way as fast as I can to the next bit. So let's look at the new one. Uh, so she's got pretty much the same melee attack as you expect. Then she's got this, which is I think meant to be like a shock wave, a bunch of shock waves. So either the tank will have to eat that, like take it. Or there will be uh, some method of avoiding it. Maybe just run around like a madman. I don't know. It's really hard to tell at this level because you kept missing. Um, now, in the left hand side, I stuffed up the quest. Because uh, my pet was killing all the... The little flying dudes, what they're called. Hatchlings. Anyway, so I know she kept doing the same move. So I thought I'd do a bit of uh, white damage to... See if I could trigger something at a certain health percentage. Uh, but yeah, because in uh, Miss Binaria, hunters no longer have the minimum rage disadvantage. Like, they can be a melee ranger and still shoot, which it's about time. So yeah, there she goes. She teleports and then she does this. And wow, that's going to hurt. I mean, um, they, they get one shot though. But uh, yeah, they do want about 100 damage. And that, that level... It could be uh, d dangerous. I mean, if you don't take them out as fast as you can. But yeah, I'm just slowly picking them off. Guessing. I'm actually guessing at this point in time which one she is. And she was that one. So there you go. All left is the old uh, Rattlegore. He's. I think he's got a cleave. And yeah. So you can keep an eye on both of these battles at the moment. There you go. It's got a thunder. Uh, what's it called? Thunder Strike? Uh, and then I picked up the uh, the trash mobs by accident, so I'm just going to try and finish them off. And she's down, so... Just kill off the mobs there, kill off Radagall. Uh He doesn't do anything special. He does do... he is back in the new one. And he's got a really cool entrance animation, which you'll see in a little bit. But yeah, you can tell how she's different and uh, how the old one went, so that I'm glad they, they changed that sort of stuff around. And it will be awesome, but I hope they don't turn out to be like the AZG, where you just, they're like a tier above, and you just run them again and again and again and again. So I hope they do something with that. Uh, so at the moment I'm running to both places. I run back to the entrance because I'm a noob in the new one, not realising that it's not that complex anymore. It's a straight line <laughs> to each boss. Uh, I don't know if I open the map and realise that, but yeah, because I, yeah, I do, but there's obviously no map implemented yet, because, like I said, I'm a noob, and in the old one, you, uh, well, 
you pretty much have to run around different rooms and all that. So I'm just showing you there the old way. This is pretty cool. This is Lil uh, Lillian Voss, I think her name is. And if you don't know what that is, uh, she's in the Undead starting zone. And basically she was a hero of either the Horde of the Alliance. I don't know her full story. Um, and she got brought back as the Undead and she was upset. So it's really cool. If you you got time, just check out the Undead starting zone. It's a really cool storyline. I like what they did there. And basically the 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 bad guy is Im immune so um is that this fight i think it's the next room maybe anyway i'm just taking out the things i'm just uh letting them all gather up so on the left you got that guy which i killed way too fast so i left my pet on which <laughs> i tried to escape so i wasn't attacking him uh, and that brings all the other mobs and all that that guy um he's pretty much just a mage he doesn't do anything special but i just want to see anyway and on the right, yeah, so he's immune, and he just sends ads at you, and he does something pretty cool here. Now, this is hacks, so she just can shadow step through a get the fence. I mean, that would be epic if Rose could do that. But in the meantime, he left me with a little friend to play with that he's summoning in now, where William Bosco chases uh, him. It's Radagore 2.0, and uh, it looks pretty much the same, just, you know, white older, brittle. But you get to see him and his abilities and all that. Uh, so let's see what he does. Because the other one was just, in the old one, it's just a quest again. I think you were meant to put something down. I, I can't remember. But yeah, there you go. Um, click on the bone pole to protect yourself from bone spike. Because I think bone spike is a knockback. And it is actually really annoying. Also, don't go on fire, obviously. Um... But yeah, you click on the bone spike and it, and it stops you from getting knocked up in the air. Uh, like that. There you go. So that was me protecting myself from bone spike. Um, it also comes with charges, I believe, or just that five minute thing. But you can see I'm standing in the fire. Just seeing how much damage it does. It's around 200 per tick. Uh, I mean, yeah. So, and then... That's pretty much all he does is melee and bone spike from what I could see. Now on the left we got the Frost Mage which was obviously moved to the front of the new one. And he does pretty much the same, he's got Frost Armor and he does all the Frost moves and all that. But yeah, I was thinking of Radical, um, he might enrage, I can't remember if he gets at low health. No, but yeah, obviously there's fake achievements in the beta at the moment. Because that's, because I got my thing set to heroic, you're obviously not meant to get that on normal. But that's okay, that's just an oversight, they're not really worried about achievements and all that. And I'm just showing that the gargoyle is blocked off there. And on the left, you guys can see it. In the corner of you're focusing on the right or focusing on the left. He, he does the exact same stuff. Obviously he doesn't have the flying books and uh, that, that wall of death. But uh, you can have a look at the new mobs. They're pretty much... What are they? they... Yeah, you got those big guys which are really annoying because... You can see me try and damage the, uh, oh, in a little bit, you'll see me try and damage them, and they take a lot of DPS. And that's not the point of them. The point of them is to attack their little parts that they got on them, those little bloated things, and you're meant to make them bleed out because they have way too much health to kill. I mean, you probably could once you get enough, just run through it. Obviously, I'm talking about hard mode, or heroic mode. Um, but yeah, you can see now I'm targeting him and he's starting to bleed out. Uh, he also makes a lot of weird noises, but... I'm just trying to get through this. I thought I was going to get dazed and left there. Um, but, yeah, so... Just clearing them out. They're pretty interesting. I'm trying to clear out as much as I can. They also, yeah, spew when they die or shit them pants. On the left, we got the um, annoying uh, six rooms. And, like I said, the last boss didn't spawn, unfortunately. Okay, so yeah, well I'm just running through, I realise that I still got the bone spike buff for some reason. I thought it could help. It doesn't. Uh, just try not to aggro too much. Now, obviously Lillian Voss is somewhere chasing that mage or warlock down, so there he has her channel, and there's a bit of story. If you don't guys don't want to spoil it for yourself, just skip ahead a few seconds. But, uh, basically, you have to fight her, because he 
Yeah. He controls them for the time being and he becomes immune. So you won't be able to attack him directly. And it's pretty interesting mechanic here what happens with Lillian Voss if you pay attention. Because on the left I'm just killing the old bosses to try and get the, the headmaster to spawn. But I'm just showing uh, you know her character model and all that. And what she does, she's basically a rogue. I mean, she's got poisons and shadow steps and all that. And basically you're meant to weaken her into a weakened state and then something happens. Yeah, she jumps on you and you can't attack her which is really annoying. But obviously she's going to be targeting a um, party member. I can't remember if I bring my pet out to see if she jumps on the pet. Uh, but yeah. Over here we've got the guy who doesn't attack me on the left. He's just minding his own business, making whatever he's making. Here you go. She's got, yeah, she's got this ability which I wanted her to hit me with, just to see what it was about. It looks like it leaves, yeah, a, a trail of flames, like she pulls everyone in. There's a trail of flames, but she's in the weakened state. Now this is pretty cool. Um, what happens if you just pay attention? So I don't know if this was my fault or this is meant to happen. Where she has ended now. Now I chose to stop DPSing to see what happened, and now you've got to fight her soul, I believe. And she, yeah, she's got different abilities. And I think, I'm not sure if I do look at the tooltip for that. On the left, I'm just looking at his abilities. He just goes into an enraged state and attacks faster, but yeah. So the fixate is obviously something you've got to kite from. Uh, maybe she has an attack cre uh, speed or something like that. Attack speed or something, I'm not too sure. Uh, there you go, unleashing whatever. Does 1800 damage. Uh, so I'm just kiting her at the moment to see how slow she moves while she's fixated. So there you go. Now they're both up because I've killed the soul, and I think you got to fight them both now. Uh, yeah, so you got to obviously finish off uh, Lillian Voss or DPS her down while she's back up. Try and get her soul back in her body or something. On the left is just the uh, the warlock. There's a lot of warlocks in this place. I know this, but oh, it's a warlock slash priest. That's right. It always threw me off about that. Anyway. So the yeah the necromancer runs away scared through the door and uh, yeah she's gone all emo but there's a chest that opens up that has all the loot in case you're wondering where the loot is it's in the forgotten soul and there's nothing there at the moment so they'll probably fix that up yeah so I just wanted to show that door there might be a quest with her and leads to something but yeah this is where I fell through the world it's the beta you can't really expect something but it uh... it, it, it kind of <laughs> threw me off when I fell through the world I'm just like oh, okay uh, I died twice in this instance good to know on the left I'm just clearing out to get to Lady Black is it? Lady... I can't see the name but anyway you got her and you see her abilities, but look, look at the, if you, this is what I wanted to show on the right here. Now, this is the professor's, the professor's, um, room, which is, uh, uh, I think he's like the remake of the one we just saw. He, he looks like the professor from Ice Crown Citadel. I forget his name, but if, if you watch the pictures on the wall, their eyes, right? This is what I'm trying to show you. I, I noticed this straight away. I'm like, whoa. That uh, is so cool. I mean, it's something little, but it's cool. It's like really cool. Anyway, so you can just see on the left her abilities. Uh, and they got a check now. I upset him. He's a potion master, so he's obviously going to um, uh, use... Uh, what was his name? So yeah, there's the toxic potion, which he throws on you. Leaves nature damage every two seconds, so he's obviously going to scale. He's only doing 120 at the moment. And then he transforms, so I think he's meant to be like Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde ripoff sort of thing. Uh, see, here he goes, he's transforming into that. Was it Professor Putricide? I think his name was. Anyway, you got the, well, he could be considered the big baddie of the old one on the left there. He's just a warrior, I believe. Um, but yeah. So he does the same abilities, I think he just hits harder. I can't remember if he does get a hit off. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to remember. Uh, he kept doing the same thing, so I decided to just keep white damaging him to see if he did anything else towards the end. I don't believe he does. He's a pretty simple boss. 
Maybe you have to card him during monster phase, I don't know. I mean, like I said, it, it, it's going to be different anyway on Heroic, and it is still the beta, so it still could change. Um, but yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Now, on the left, I think I'm clearing a one... I haven't been paying attention too much to the left, but... As you can see on the right, this is the new animation. Now, there's no more six rooms, it's just him down the bottom there. And obviously he's going to be the big baddie of this whole place. So, we're going to... Um, I think we're going to have a look at his character model first. From memory. Because he looks different. Now, it's, it's hard to say because, like I said, in the old one... I don't, I don't know. Get to see him, there's some bug. And I thought you had to do all the quests, that's why I tried doing the quests to summon him, but... Yeah, maybe I thought something I was meant to do, but I didn't do it. I mean, I thought it was just... It used to be just kill the six people in the room when he was born. But yeah, he's got aggro PH. Um, uh, he is a warlock, I believe, or a fire mage. No, he's a warlock, he's got simulate and uh, incinerate and all that. So, it's pretty much a place of warlocks. I think that was the law behind it anyway. Now, I'm just trying to see if uh, he moves at all. So, I back up here to see, and I realise he's just casting the same two things incinerate and emulate so I decided to do a little bit of white damage to try and um, well see if he does anything else at a certain percentage again now on the left I realized why hasn't he spawned he's meant to spawn you know so I think I decide to yeah that's it I just leave it there because he doesn't spawn I don't know what's up with live at the moment but I keep wipe damaging him he doesn't do anything else I mean unless I miss something while I was looking at so he doesn't really have any other abilities, um, I do end up finishing off the video for you should be cut out here, but yeah, it looks interesting to what they've done to it. Anyway, I'll be bringing out the um, Scarlet Monastery video soon, split screen, so I hope you guys are looking forward to that. Remember to subscribe, like or dislike and leave comments what you think of the new and old instances, how they've changed and all that. I'll see you guys next time.